I'm a nutritional therapist, so I studied at the College of Natural Nutrition and I worked at um, the Nutri Centre, which was uh, is, is no more now, <laughs> but it was a great big centre that was full of 30,000 products. So I was the nutritionist that manned a helpline and just gave technical information to patients, well, customers, and also to practitioners. And I, I just got interested in Biobrand, uh, which was one of 30,000 products, partly because I saw this really interesting article that Andrew Patterson actually wrote from Really Healthy Company, and it just showed how it really fired up NK cells and how these NK cells would like go around killing cancer cells, 27 cancer cells before it died itself. And I just got quite interested in how it would affect the B lymphocytes and the T lymphocytes, drive down inflammation. So I still was a skeptic because at that point I was very inexperienced, wet behind the ears, and I thought, oh gosh, cancer is this mountain that you can't scale. It's impossible to, you know, deal with. Maybe these products are good for more minor ailments, but not for cancer. But I feel that was my lack of experience because when I started using Biobran with some of the people that came into the center, I got such amazing feedback about it. I mean, we had lots of cancer patients coming in to see us, mainly to get products, but some of them wanted advice as well. And some you send them off to doctors and then they suddenly boomerang back. And, you, and, and then I just got really involved with just the nutritional support side of things. And it sort of became my passion. It sort of didn't really choose it. I didn't really think about, I want to work with cancer patients. I sort of like chose me really. <laughs> and as partly, I, I'd say a big part of that was the fact that when I started using Biobrand, it did actually have a lot of impact. And I had no sort of financial vested interest in that because really where I was employed, they'd be happy if we sold any one of those products but I just got really involved with Biobrand um, and it shaped my future profession. So uh, as a nutritional therapist, I then set off on my own because there was only so much you could do on the helpline. I really wanted to work with patients properly, do proper case work with them, do testing with them, follow it through, write proper reports, and really get to the nitty gritty, which is what I do now and what I've been doing since autumn 2008 so uh, originally worked at Harley Street um, then unfortunately just as I started my well not unfortunately fortunately as I started my business I had a baby <laughs> which, which I didn't know but soon as soon as uh, I was back to work everything picked up again and um, it's it's kind of grown from there so, but I also have a, a, another set of patients. I have my Lyme's patients and I have my cancer patients. And there is a bit of a crossover as both of them have like very dysfunctional immune systems. And um, I was very inspired when I went to a parliamentary debate. This was for Lyme's patients. Um, a few years ago, there was an amazing doctor and researcher called Chris Newton. And he was talking about how Lyme actually suppressed NK cells and macrophages and dendritic cells drove up inflammation and I was thinking well that's really interesting because that's all the things that are a problem with cancer patients and and that's why we use Biobrand and that's why you know Biobrand was developed and I thought could there be a crossover here so that that sort of led to another venture which we're about to embark on now with Professor Puri. I sort of was talking to Professor Puri and managed to convince him that he might want to do research into this. And then we managed to convince Daiwa that they, yes, they really wanted to get behind us. And, that, and we spoke to Professor Haito as well, because he's an immunologist and he thought there was some mileage in it. So, um, so there's the two things going on basically and we're about to start this study because as a nutritional therapist I, I don't have the experience to lead a study whereas Professor Puri is a research scientist and an MD and a professor so he is leading it now, it's his baby and I'm just sort of assisting him <laughs> with my other colleague but that's sort of very much in a nutshell how it all developed. Um, huge, I, I think, and um, I, I totally agree that it's totally overlooked. When people lose weight, often they're given these build-up drinks, which are 
full of uh, syrups, hydrogenated fats, and um, well, just sugars basically. And it's it's so sad because it's all about it's all about the calories. You know, without those drinks are all about the calories, but not how those calories behave within the body. And there's so much research to support the fact that sugar can feed cancer cells. Otto Warburg found that cancer loves to thrive on fermentation, which sugar obviously feeds. And um, he did a lot of groundbreaking work, I think 85 years ago, and yet still it's not followed through. Whereas, so I, I think it's really important that nutritional therapy plays a role. We get people off of sugar, really limit dairy, and if they have a gluten intolerance, get them off of that in case it can cause inflammation and get them on the really clean, good quality proteins like um, eggs, organic eggs, avocados, uh, raw nuts and seeds, um, organic chicken and uh, grass fed beef. It's all great. So really get people on the right path with lots of fruit and vegetables, but low glycemic fruit. So I think if you look at practitioners who are working in the natural medicine field, there's a quite a, a good consensus of opinion of, of how people should be helped. And you just keep away from all those uh, carbohydrates, the, all those um, simple carbohydrates, like refined carbohydrates, like croissants and white bread, and all the things that are the quick fix for when we feel hungry. And they're just all around us. And in a way, steer away from Western diet there's a lot of documentation about that and um, a lot of successful groups uh, are really highlighting that uh, Brian Clements uh, with his Hippocrates Institute, also Gerson Therapy. Uh, it's, it's, there's so much out there. I mean, I don't adhere to religiously to Gerson or to the Hippocrates raw food, but I sort of take from them and incorporate that in what I do. Um, so I think it's really fundamental uh, to, to get people on a good diet and it, it will support what they're doing with Biobrand as well because that's the only thing. You don't want people to think Biobrand's great, which it definitely is. I'm a total convert. I'm really passionate about it. But you don't want to think, well, then it's all right to have like fry up every night and Kentucky Fried Chicken and, you know, like junk food. Think, no, that's not the idea. <laughs> it's the synergistic blend of doing everything, doing the bio brand, doing the healthy diet, and maybe just having a few key things like some selenium to boost neutrophils and just really supporting the body. Yeah, it's because you don't, even though you're, even though you're, you don't have cancer yourself, you don't want to be a future cancer sufferer. You want to stay that way. And even for just your general well-being and uh, having energy, I mean, we all seem to require huge amounts of energy just to, you know, operate really. We've all got to work. We're all trying to juggle children or social life and work and family with, and, and that takes a lot of energy. You know, more and more we're cramming so much into our lives. We've got internet, we've got Facebook, all demanding our responses. So I think that um, if we can have a healthy diet to fuel that, it's really important. And also, you know, all the oxidative stress that comes from all the pollutants and chemicals are being pumped into our environment. Uh, and just sort of work stress, all of that, I think it's so important to have antioxidant rich food, which really comes from plant food and really clean proteins, just to sort of fuel our bodies and it's it's hugely anti-aging as well I think so uh, and, and also just to sort of avoid other things like diabetes keeping blood sugar levels really uh, at a really good level well balanced um, and that's all ties in with heart disease so I think nutrition is so important and I do actually think Biobran is very important for healthy people just when you get those little health challenges which always seem to crop up at in inappropriate moments, like when you're about to do something really important, you start getting sickly. And I, I really think it's great just to have a few sachets and um, just to get yourself back on your feet and you're, you're where you need to be. So I, I do use it myself. Um, I do use it on my child just to kind of, if, if when we need it. So I, I, I think it, 
nutrition and having important functional foods like Biobram is really important for healthy people too. Thank you.